Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at how to change the hard drive in uh, HP Pavilion. Uh, these are one of the later models. Um, this one's the 15B153NR uh, specifically. But um, so yeah, the hard drive is a little bit more difficult than just pop the back. Um, you have to go into a little bit. So let's get to it. So the first thing I did, of course, was remove the battery. And uh, you have screws all around here. They're all visible. So nothing too difficult. So there's one, two, three, all around here. You can you can see them. And then you want to remove the keyboard screws as well. Um, I did already do the screws here, but let's get into it. So after you remove all the screws in the back that you can see, uh, you want to flip it over, and you want to pop the keyboard. All right, because we still have to get underneath the keyboard. You can take a pry tool. Um, you can take like a a little pick or something like a guitar pick, but here. So once you get a pop a little bit, um, you can hear that little pop there. You just pop it up and then you can pull up. And you want to be careful because you do have the cable here. So um, yep, make sure you um, loosen that and remove that. Um, and of course you want to remove these two right here. Just lift the latch again and pull it up. Lift the latch and pull it up again. So you, you're all good there. Um, now there's screws that go around here. Just want to go up and around like that, you hear a bunch of pops. That means you're doing pretty well. Uh, just be careful, go very gently along. Okay, once you got most of the way there, you can just flip it over and of course be careful when you take it up completely. You just always want to check for cables underneath or something or if a latch didn't come off. There you go. Okay, let's look underneath always. I like to just check it just in case and when I feel good about it, then you can remove it. Uh, it does look like all the cables that we did were on top anyway, so that looks good. Okay, so now we open the, the laptop, and we can see right here, this is a hard drive. Um, it's been, looks like it's screwed down. So we can remove these four screws. Now you want to lift up from the front right here, and don't lift it completely because it is still connected by a cable here. You want to detach that cable right down there. It's just a SATA um, cable that gives power and it, it reads the data. Okay, so we have here's a hard drive, and of course you have this little shield that goes over it that can screw in and it kind of protects it. So now we want to remove that as well. Alright, so once you get the four screws, um, it should just come right off. And remember, it went this way, so and that's where the back is. So we want to install the next hard drive the same way. I like to just kind of keep it the same until I can find the other. So we're going to put in, um, this one in particular, we'll put in a Western Digital. Um, we're going to put in mechanical hard drives. We do recommend going SSDs, but for this case, um, our client does need to have uh, a little bit more storage and stuff like that. I know it's only 500 gigs, but... Um, it's, a, it's still very cost effective and they're pretty cheap to go on. So now we're going to put it back the same way. Just put it on just like that, just like it was. And we're just basically going back in reverse. Alright, so once you get that back on plug it in. OK, 
Okay, put it back in place there. All right, once the hard drive's in, um, we can put top cover back on, just like that. Okay, you can hit click, that'll be good. Um, just be careful again. Just get a feel for it, that's kind of what I do all the time. If something feels off or um, something's wrong, obviously, so. There we go. All right, feels pretty secure. Push the bad back in. Now we want to make sure um, we put these back in. We don't forget about these two. I believe this is the power button. Yeah, you can see it here. Actually, the little cable goes. Oh, you can't see it. Um, the little cable. You can see it almost see through, and it goes all the way to here. And that's the power button. That's when you hit, it goes to there. Um, some will bend like that. Others will go straight through. Um, this one's a touchpad. This cable. Now you'll know um, actually what these are if you mess up. Um, you obviously, if something doesn't work, you probably messed it up or you didn't plug it in all the way. And of course, be very, very careful when you plug these in. Just get a feel for it. Usually, there's a line there that indicates how far you have to push in. But don't force it. Just push it. Let it go in itself. And um, you should be good to go. All right, so we got one more. We have the. Oh no, we don't want to put the keyboard on yet. So, all right. So now, after you put those two in, you want to make sure you put the screws in. If the line fits good, then you can close the gate, and don't push too hard, too light. It won't do it, so or it'll break, and that's the worst thing you want. Because once you break that, that's it. You lose the game. <laughs> Anyways, um, once you're done, you can make sure just everything clips in, so it's kind of nice and flat. Okay. All right. Once it looks good, it feels good. Um, now we can flip it over. I just want to make sure everything's screwed in now. Okay, and once that's done, you can plug in the battery. Always just be nice and easy. If it doesn't fit right, it's not fitting. So there you go. You hear that click. Now there's a sign right here. You see the orange. You actually see the color from here. Now that's locking it. So, and that's it. You guys have a good one. All right, thanks a lot.